Hey guys, this is a video I'm showing you how to um, change the user interface of certain apps, like the colors and stuff. So, I'm on the Safari app, somewhere around here. Since I don't use it, I use um, this other one. But, so, I'm this one, this is pretty safe. But, so, what you do is edit the picture, of course, but really, you need this program on your computer called iFunbox, right here, it's free, and you don't need a jailbroken iPod, it said that it, you can access your full file system without it being ever jailbroken. So that's pretty cool, but mine's jailbroken, so it doesn't matter for me. So I'm going to edit the URL progress bar. And the reason this is easier than iFile is you actually can preview the images to know what you're looking at. So as I said, I'm going to do the US URL progress bar, edit it. I would, you can really do this with any e image editing program, but I would suggest Photoshop because it's really, really easy to use. I mean, you just select that, and it's selected that whole thing. Yeah, it, it's pretty neat. So... I gotta figure out what, what I wanna do. I could probably do the Chrome. Um, I'll probably just do the Chrome, cause that's it. Yes. I probably should copy it to my desktop. I don't see it. So I'm just going to save as. And then all you do is after you're done editing it, you have to save it as a ping. Then just copy it into here. Just drag and drop. It will copy it. It will replace it. It won't ask you. It will not ask you that if you want to replace it. So, um, that's how you do that. I'm going to go to my iPod now. I have to respring it. So, hold on, and see if it worked. I have an app on here that's called Display Recorder, so I don't need to use any crappy things to record stuff. So, I'll meet you in on my iPod. So now I'm on my iPod, as you can see, and let's go to Safari. Okay, let's just type in something like YouTube. As you can see, the very top is a chrome kind of color, and it worked. Now, if you do not have it jailbroken, you'll have to, like, power it off and power it back on. So, yeah, that's a really bad thing when you're not jailbroken. But that's how you uh, edit your user interfaces for certain apps. And I would do it on a, first I would, for you guys, I would do it on an app that you can just re-download, not one that's on the iPod itself. So, like, just... For example, if you had 
like a Facebook app or something, you would edit some picture on that and then replace it and then see if it worked because you can always re-download that one. But anyways, that is how you um, edit your user interfaces for apps. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.